Welcome to our e-commerce app demo video. In this video, we will cover how a customer can effortlessly place an order through our e-commerce app and how a dedicated delivery team ensures that the order is delivered to this customer. In this video, we will cover the customer app, admin panel and dispatch panel. We start with the customer app. We first need to log into the app. If a customer wants to place an order, they must log into or sign up in the app. They can sign up directly with their social accounts like Google, Facebook and Twitter. After logging into the customer app, before placing the order, let's explore the interface of the customer app. The logo of the e-commerce brand appears on the top left corner. Next to it, you can see three bars. If we click on them, we get a panel which consists of a home button, an order again button to repeat the same order we made earlier, a wish list bucket, followed by links to privacy policy and the terms and conditions link. To place an order, we have to select the product, then select the quantity, then click on the add to cart button. You will notice that the item is now reflecting in the cart. Now we go to the cart. We have to add an address or it can be automatically fetched with Geofence. Add delivery instructions if there are any. We also have the option to give a tip to the delivery agent who will deliver the item. We can select the gift option if we want to send it as a gift to someone. Next, we will select payment method, schedule order if we want to it to be delivered on a specific date or simply place the order directly and the delivery date will be decided by the admin. To check the status of this order, we need to visit the My Account section. To do that, click on the top right corner at the flag of your country and it will take us to the My Account section. Click on the My Orders option where we can view both the active orders and the past orders. As this is an active order, we will click on the active order button. Click on the most recent order which shows at the top. This allows us to verify the status of the order. It will keep changing to different stages till it successfully gets delivered to you. After the customer places the order, it will reflect in the admin panel. Let's go ahead and log into the admin panel. First, we must sign in with our login credentials. Once we log in, we can view the placed order in the order bucket. We see that the placed order is pending for approval here. Once the admin accepts the order, it will shift to the active order bucket and the customer will receive a confirmation notification or a message. Once the admin confirms the order for a customer, we log into the dispatcher panel to manage the logistics of the delivery. To assign the order to a driver, go to the Routes section. Select the driver. In this case, we select Shailesh as the driver. The driver can be automatically aligned with the task with the batch system or we can assign the delivery task manually. The moment an admin selects a driver, this selected driver will receive a notification like this in his device. Once the driver accepts the request, he can start the delivery process. Once the delivery process is started, the customer will receive a tracking URL through SMS. Once the order is delivered by the delivery agent, it will be shifted to the order history bucket on the admin panel. And the customer can view the order in the past order section of my account in the customer app. The driver can view this completed order in his driver's app task history section. This is how a customer can place the order from our e-commerce app. In the back end, we showed how the admin accepts the order, assigns it to the delivery partner, who then delivers it to the customer. If you want to create an e-commerce app for your own business, then we at Codebrew Labs are here to help you. With over 3,000 satisfied clients worldwide, we are experts in custom software and app development. Contact us by clicking on the link given in the description. Fill up the form with your name, your email address, your contact number and a few details about your project. 
Click Submit which will take you to the next screen where you can select your project budget and your industry. After doing that, click Submit. And now your query is registered with us. This way you can easily schedule a free consultation and a personalized demo session with us at a time that suits you. If you like this video then subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss out on our latest videos. Thanks for watching this video to the end.